Good evening. I am Javier Guzman, principal of New Village Charter High School, which is located here in the Rampart area of Los Angeles. We have been implementing the TM Quiet Time program for nearly a year, and you will soon see some of the results. I want to briefly explain what I've learned and talk a little bit about the school. My journey as an educator spans over 15 years, and there are a few things I've learned along the way. Number one, our schools have become places of enormous stress that dehumanize students through standardized testing and superficial learning. Our system is wrongfully and tragically based on the notion that the beauty and complexity of an individual can be measured by an exam. Two, for my students and the thousands like them, the options they are given are inadequate. The bar is set low and little is expected of them. Mostly, they are taught to regurgitate information at breakneck speeds under the guise of equity and the achievement gap. Three, we need to move away from that and build schools that consider the whole person that understand that our students have passions and interests and that give them the tools to transcend their environments. The typical student at New Village Charter has experienced major trauma in her life. Nearly 50% are pregnant or parenting. Over 60% have previously dropped out of school or have been expelled or counseled out by other schools. Some battle drug addiction. Many have been victims of violence and abuse. A handful have not been to school since the sixth or seventh grade, and virtually all live in poverty. This work of teaching TM to our students isn't only about releasing stress. For my students and the thousands like them, it's about combating the problem of poverty and the poison of low expectations that clearly has been institutionalized and reinforced in our educational system. This work is about breaking destructive cycles of behavior. It's about being given the tools to truly reach one's full potential. And as one of my students stated, it's about opening a door to someone I never knew I could be. Thank you. A lot of the students are going through a lot of stuff at home. Uh, their, their lives are in flux in many situations constantly. They have these unbelievably difficult stories that I mean, you couldn't even fit them into a lifetime for some people, and these girls have already experienced them before 15. At my old school, two students in math class, they, they choked me. I got pregnant at 13. My mom, she got deported two years ago. Sometimes I cry because it's, it's just too much tension. I had a baby, so she gave me a lot of stress. I had to do homework. Um, I had problems at home. They have tremendous levels of stress and very difficult situations. And then they do quiet time. It's like, it just smooths that out. I think it's great. It's a great way to be okay with yourself. It's, it's a great way of releasing all the stress out. It takes this bumpy, jarring, anxiety-ridden moment and turns it into something that is so calm and peaceful and relaxed. And they walk out of the room feeling better, feeling normal. It's a palpable change. You can actually feel the difference in the room. It just helps me relax. When I'm meditating, it's only me. It's not my friends. It's not my mom. It's not my little brothers. It's just me. But after like learning TM, I instantly felt whole and like more happier and I think that brought out like the good in me. I had a lot of problems in my life and TM came into my life and, and gave me like this open door to something that I never knew could be there. The students have just become extremely united. Self-esteem has, has gone up tremendously and that's something that these students really need. I feel that for once, I'm not like a dumb person that I could actually do my work. Tia is such a great opportunity. I do it, I try to do it as much as I can. I feel awesome, more healthy in my emotions and in my mind. The thing that makes me unique is that I practice transcendental meditation. I think like just by example, like they see like, oh, like 
like, oh, what is she doing? Like, why is she so happy? Please join me in welcoming four of my wonderfully gifted, talented, and resilient young women. Casey. Zuilma. April. and Jocelyn. 